What's up? This is John Deddy from Meshiac, and you're watching Rock Map. Oh yeah, you know, I knew I was going to get that question because I said the same thing the first time, you know, I, that that they called me. So it's pronounced Meshiac. Meshiac. <laughs> It's uh, the name Messiah in Hebrew, so I don't know. Maybe they're thinking they want to be the Messiah of metal, <laughs> but it's a brand new band. Nobody really knows who it is, and so we're going to get this probably for the next year. How do you say the name and this and this, but I think once it starts to stick, it's such a unique name, you won't be able to forget it, and it'll, it'll make the band stand out even more, I think, so that's I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's actually been great. Uh, uh, the reviews that I've seen so far, they're calling uh, the new Meshiac record uh, album of the year. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some lone wolves out there. I haven't seen those yet, but uh, I've seen about five reviews so far, and, and everybody is just really, uh, they seem really blown away by the record. So it's, uh, it's nice to see. Same as the press, uh, everybody is, that's heard this so far, and not only on the outside, but just also my, in, you know, internal, you know, my peers that I've played played it to. That everybody is really uh, like, wow, you know, this is really good. And uh, I think one of the things that makes it so appealable to to different people is you've got these songs that will appeal to the the hardcore metal fans, you know. But then you also have there's other songs on the album that will appeal to a broader pace of people. I, I think we've blended both pretty well with this, with this recent uh, album. Well, you know, I, I think that's one of the things that, that, that I just discussed earlier, that I think what makes this record so unique is that we do have all these elements. I think that one of the things that certainly helped with this is that, you know, uh, Dean, the, uh, the lead guitar player, uh, he's a producer. So, you know, it, it's nice when you can have somebody that has, they're, they're wearing like both hats, so to speak. They're, they're wearing a guitar player hat or, I'm sorry, that was a lefty. See the lefty I have here, sorry. <laughs> uh, Danny came from a band that was more aggressive, uh, you know, a band called Forearm and was screaming a lot, you know, it just like that screaming kind of vocals and really, and he's got that great, great riff, uh, you know, the, the, those, those riffs that, that kind of come from that more heavy background. Dean is a progressive guy. He's not a heavy metal guy at all, but bringing, so bringing him into this, it, it adds that, that added quality to the songs. And I try and do a good job on the drums, you know, and hopefully if people, <laughs> if they enjoy the drums and that's... Back in 2013, uh, I was in Australia and I was actually playing drums for uh, Slayer and Anthrax together on, on this tour called uh, Soundwave. And um, and the uh, the publicist that was assigned to Slayer and Anthrax, a, a gentleman named Chris Merrick, was very good friends with Danny Camilleri. And he called and said, hey, you know, my friend Danny, he's got this, he was in this band Forearm, he's putting this new band together and he would love for you to play drums, and I'm like, well, no, I don't know, you know what I mean? But I, I, I wound up speaking to Danny, and uh, uh, you know, we immediately hit it off on the phone, and then I, I heard the, uh, the demos, which was just really two songs at that time. You know, the first song that I had heard was Alliance of Thieves. It was, you know, it had good, strong, like, screaming vocals, great guitar riffs, the solo was great. What made me start to pay attention was the ending of the song. This, this outro piece, uh, and, but Danny started singing, like using his voice and singing, and, I, and that's why I, I was like, whoa, this guy's got a voice. I mean, really, really unique sounding voice, and this could actually take it from this to this, and so that's what really piqued my interest. And then, you know, I signed on to do the record, and, uh, and we had talk, and then we had actually, the whole band flew from Australia to Oakland, California. And that's where we recorded. We recorded the, the drums at a studio called Jingle Town in uh, Oakland, California. Green Day is studio. They, Green Day, the band, owns the studio. So, you know, we went into the studio with me just going into track drums, and we came out of the studio as a full band.
Yeah, absolutely. No, I, you know, it's been the story of my life, man. You know, I joined Testament as a full member. I joined Slayer as a full member. But I, you know, I joined Testament right after they recorded the album Low. And then I joined Slayer as a full member right after they recorded Undisputed Attitude. And then, you know, then I joined Testament again back in 97, right after they recorded the album Demonic. And so I know from the outside, it probably seems like, oh, I'm a touring drummer, but it, it wasn't the case. And, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, uh, and maybe somehow, some way, this has all led to, to Meshiac. And yes, it feels great to be part of something from now from the ground up. And, you know, where my writing style is it's completely 100% me. It's not me being told to do this or to do that. And that was really one of the great things about, you know, talking about the writing process for this record is they gave me complete free reign. So, and that's what I did. And I'm really proud of the result that I, that I, that I delivered on the record. And, uh, you know, as I said, I'm really excited about the band and, and, and where it's going to go, especially next year. Oh, well, the first day that I got a drum set, uh, I, I, got, I, got a, I got actually got two drum sets for my, for my 14th birthday. And uh, uh, my brother got me the Fistful of Metal record from Anthrax, which I just, just came out. I started playing drums in April of 1984, and the Anthrax record came out, I think, in January of 84. Fistful of Metal. First song I ever played on drums was Metal Thrashing Mad. And when I heard the Fistful of Metal album, I, I, it was, you know, it was the same day of playing drums and it was my direction of, you know, like Charlie Benante was my all-time idol, you know, on drums. So to be playing for uh, for Anthrax now, uh, it's it's a dream come true, you know, I mean, but, and, but the great thing is, is that I didn't have to really learn any songs because I, I knew them all from growing up and I'm so familiar with them and it's part of my style. It's a, it's a major part of my style. So, but yeah, it, it feels definitely, it feels great. And it's just an honor and a privilege to be able to, to fill in for Charlie. Oh, no, no, yes. I, well, I've been working with Anthrax as, you know, filling in for Charlie since 2012. So Charlie has had carpal tunnel uh, uh, syndrome in his hand, and that's what prevents him from playing uh, for long periods of time. So what's been happening over the last almost four years now is that uh, Charlie will come in and play a couple weeks of shows, and then he'll have to take a break because uh, he had surgery on his hand, but it still bothers him. And I, so you can't really... You can't keep aggravating it, and, and the, the problem is, is that if he goes out and tries to do an entire tour, it could cause some some long-term damage for him. So, this is the solution that works best right now. Uh, just that everybody uh, enjoys the uh, the new Meshiac record. It's coming out uh, August 19th, Alliance of Thieves, and uh, I, we're all very proud of it. And uh, you know, we're just so happy that people like yourself and you know the, the other journalists out there have given it such great reviews you know it makes us feel really very very honored so uh, pick it up I'm sure you won't uh, be disappointed and uh, enjoy it